Hey guys, what's up? It is me here again, Joshua Richard, also known as the Lego Study. Uh, I know that it's been a while since I did anything like this. Uh, a lot of my friends have been telling me, or have been asking me basically, why did I stop? Why did I stop my YouTube channel? And stuff that, oh man, I should continue, I should continue, that they like the, hopefully they're not just lying to me, because those are people that I consider to be my friends. So if they are lying to me, that would be sad. <laughs> But uh, they said that they liked it, so I'm just like, okay, fine, let me come back and start doing these videos, you know, the best way that I can, you know. Uh, anyway, let me just jump right into it. Today, I will be, I have uh, written out, you can see me with a pen, so I've written out the... Uh, the number of questions that I usually get. So these are like the most popular questions that I get. And I don't know if, because I'm trying not to make this YouTube video very long, even though this, this introduction is like super lengthy already. But um, these are like the number of like questions that I, I get repetitively. If that's the English. If not, I'm sorry. So yeah, there's a few questions here. Hopefully I can finish them. So I'm just gonna dive right in. Uh, oh well, for th for those of you that don't know me, I am an actor, a producer, a writer, and I am just an amazing guy. <sighs> okay, <laughs> all right. So let me just get right into it. Um, first question that I get a lot is, "Do you enjoy kissing scenes?" That that's the first question. So people ask me if I enjoy kissing scenes, and I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. Um, no, I do not enjoy kissing scenes. And I'm not just saying this because I'm on camera. I'm literally going to be very honest with you guys here. I do not enjoy kissing scenes. If anything, I try to avoid kissing scenes as much as I can. Because it's, it's really stressful. Especially when, you know, you and your fellow actor don't have, like, chemistry. It is, it is really stressful. I try as much as possible not to, you know... Like, even when I see kissing scenes, especially when I feel like scenes that you can actually express love without having to lip lock i don't i try to you know talk to the directors and be like yo can we you know work around this and everything like to me though i, I feel like um romantic scenes are one of the hardest scenes to actually play honestly and i know a lot of actors feel that way i know but i'm talking about myself here so i'm just gonna stick to that to me i feel like a lot of um, and romantic scenes are like one of the hardest things to actually play so I'm, I'm I do not enjoy kissing scenes no no okay so second question that I get often uh, what is your best role that you have ever played um I always I, I try to answer this question carefully <laughs> I don't I have roles okay so it's like this every single role that I have played, every single character I've played in a movie, I chose it. I chose to, to, I chose to accept the script. I don't let my scripts choose me. I chose to accept the script. I'm like, okay, I read the script. I love the script. I did it. You know, so, um, I'd say that I like all my roles. I mean, there are roles that have been, you know, quite challenging that have really pushed me to like breaking points where I've had to like say yeah I'm gonna go past this limit yeah there are roles that have pushed me past my limit yes but all in all I have enjoyed every single role that I have played and I'm gonna enjoy every single role that I'm gonna play so yeah next question hmm. <laughs> all right so this question is, <laughs> this question is have you ever slept with any actress no, my dears. In fact, I feel like, why should that even be a thing? Like, why should people just sit down and be like, hmm, Joshua Richard, you know not this baby before. Have you know not this baby? Like, why? Why Why should people even think like that? I don't know. Anyway, no, I haven't. I haven't slept with any actress before. And to be honest, to be honest with you, people, even if I have, I haven't slept with any actress before. Um... This is who are you really close to in the industry? Um, I have people that I really respect. I have people that I, you know, that I am like I'm like G's with, like you're my G and everything. 
Um, like I said, I promise you guys honesty. Um, I'm not. Th- this industry is a very. It's it's a very very hard hard dirty game, you know. So so I've learned from experience. So no, I'm I'm not necessarily close to anyone in the industry, but I have people that I I love to relate with. I have people that I respect. I have people that you know that really um, push my creativity, like made me go, oh yeah, this this is what's up, like that's cool, that's cool, you know. So I have I have people that I consider colleagues that I am friendly with. Yes, that is that is the best way to answer that question. But I do not have people that I am. Um, close to you know not not anybody okay oh yeah so this other one goes are you single because of what you do um I, I wouldn't say that it is the major reason why i'm single but it's also one of the reasons why i'm single because uh i've been in various talking stages and one thing that m- most of the time is usually a problem is uh yeah because i'm an actor people have this notion of actors like oh actors are not actors are are not faithful i don't know where that message is coming from child, but okay which is not the truth really not the truth and um apart from that i also have like issues where people that i talk to don't really understand what i do you know because it's not a nine to five that's why i try to explain to people acting acting is not a nine to five it's a any time of the day kind of this if you happen anywhere anytime basically so it's really hard you know to to like you know keep up with conversations and and stuff and stuff like that and i try to explain to people especially like people that i'm talking to like yo what's popping like it's not like i'm ignoring your messages i'm just on my phone because i am filming at this point we start talking at a point when i'm not filming you know, it's like, okay, cool, okay, I can handle it. But then when I now actually go on set, it's like, wait, 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 wait. I don't get, I don't understand what I don't, I can't do this communication. I'm like, I, this is what I told you before, but you can't understand it. So, yeah, I'd say that I'm, one of the reasons why I'm single is because of what I do. So, yeah. Who is your celebrity crush? Wait, let me think of Fazan's question. Uh, uh, I don't have I don't have any I don't have any I met my I met my ex ex celebrity crush one time yeah and I don't know if this thing has ever happened to like or if it happens to people but I'm sure it does you know like what you you know you're crushing on someone for a long time and then you now finally meet them and you're like huh <laughs> yeah so <laughs> that happened. And after that, I've not just had any celebrity crush. It's not, no, no. Uh, have you ever had issues with any producer or director? Yes, I have. Uh, oh, no, sorry. Have you ever had any issues with any producer or actor? Yes, I have had issues with with pro- producer and some actors before. I have. And it's it's a very uncomfortable feeling because uh, a lot of you don't know me personally, but me personally, I'm not, I don't like Wahala. I'm just like, I'm on my own, like, yo, anything with your drama, I know the, I think, you know, so having to have issues, especially issues where you, you did not even say it, but someone says you did, or you are just outright misunderstood, it's a very, very annoying feeling it's a it's a mix of emotions it's annoying it's sad it's confusing it's like really <laughs> you know so um yes yeah, so i've had those kind of issues with actors producers a producer and i think one or two directors i'm not sure yeah but yeah so i'm not just out here having issues with people no no it's just the thing that happened which well, i mean were well, resolved hopefully and my end anyway resolved it so uh, um, um, so this question says I heard that you were dating I don't want to say that I don't want to mention any actor or actress or producer or director I'm really trying not to mention names here but this question says I heard that you were dating 
such a so and so actress, why did you break up? And the reason why I'm not going to mention the name of the, the actress is because it's not true. Who, who, whoever said I was dating an actress, that person lied. I have never dated an actress before. I have never dated an actress before. I had to think about that because I'm like, wait, wait, let me not lie. I've never dated an actress before, so um, I have liked an actress, you know, deeply. Uh, it didn't work out, but I have never dated an actress before and stuff. But that's that's the last question I'm actually gonna answer. There are a few more questions here, but I, I cannot, so. Um, subscribe down below, okay? So please don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment, please. I love you guys. Thank you. So, Don't forget to follow my Instagram, guys.